Hello everyone and welcome to Fear the Bones. This is a DCS campaign for the F-14. You all voted for this rather decisively and so this is what we'll be going through. In order to introduce the campaign, I'm just going to let the lead developer speak for himself and then let's jump into it. Hi, my name is Greg Gale, but you probably know me as Reflector. Let go of the stick, sit back, relax, and let me say a few words before you start her up. First of all, I would like to thank you for purchasing Fear the Bones, my story-driven campaign for the Hebler F-14A Tomcat. I hope you'll have as much fun playing it as I had building it. This is an intro tutorial mission that will help you understand the background story and provide context to the campaign. Your name is Lieutenant Commander Martin Brody, assigned Jaws. A Top Gun graduate, you've been flying with VF-84 since 1985. Over the last three years, your Rio has been Lieutenant David Hickman, a.k.a. Jester. During this time, the two of you have not only become an efficient team, but also very good friends. You are aboard the USS Theodore Roosevelt, steaming east on the I'm Atlantic closing the canopy. She was on her way to Athens for a scheduled port call when the USS Valley Force cruiser had an accident 40 miles off the coast of the Soviet Union. All right, Union. let's start. The big stick, as the sailors call her, was immediately diverted to the area to provide air cover to the damaged ship. Albeit disappointed for skipping the port call, you and your fellow squadron members are excited about the new mission. Ghost, Pyro, Caveman, Grip, Alvis, and Glory are all hoping to meet some Soviet aircraft in the air. By tomorrow morning, the Valley Forge will be in range. Therefore, the captain has ordered all air crew to nightfall before things may get more serious. Now, start her up, dex to the cap, and launch. I will guide you through this first mission. Jaws, Jester! Hey, how's it going? I saw you guys nailed that three wire. Hell yeah, we did. What about the others? Elvis and Glory have just launched. Ghost and Pyro are scheduled in 30 mics. They're down in ready room 7 arguing about something stupid as usual. All right, see you guys later. Good luck. We'll be watching you on the plat. Gear up, flaps up. Now climb straight ahead at 300 nuts, crossing 5 nautical miles at 1500 AGL or above. At a distance of 7 nautical miles, start turning right to place yourself in a 10 nautical mile radius circle around the ship. Use tech end to maintain the distance. Being the hotshot fighter jive that you are, you will be expected to follow Navy procedures throughout the campaign. And this is the first and the last time I'll tell you what to do. You can find a copy of the T-45 Carrier Ops Flight Instruction Manual in the documentation folder to refresh your memory. So for the most part the first mission is quite a quiet one. Just take off, do a lap around the ship, then enter the Marshall stack. A little bit of trouble on the approach here. Outback, Outback, wave off. 99 aircraft, return to your assigned altitude in the Marshall stack. On the F-2, is right gate collapsed on landing. Your signal on the F-3, your signal on the Charlie, contact approach. On the F-3, roger, switching to Marshall. But after that we're allowed to come in for landing. I did really mess up the first approach here, came in far too fast, but just managed to abort it. Better safe than sorry. And then here on the second attempt after the go-around, despite coming in at an absolutely awful angle, I do manage to sort of save it. I know this is an awful landing, I'm really not good at carrier landings in general, and really not good at landing the F-14 in general. But do manage to catch the fourth wire there, and so that is well, mission complete. Our uh, next mission's going to be a lot harder than that, but I'm looking forward to them. So, yeah, looking forward to this new campaign, definitely looking forward to properly learning the F-14 and I hope you will tune in for the rest of it. Yeah, if you enjoyed this, please do consider leaving a like, comment, really does help with the first episode of a series, and otherwise hope to catch you next time. Until then, remember to be kind to yourselves and everyone else. Cheers.